Hello everyone, so today we're going to be showing you how to put some cushion in your E28 comfort seats. For reference over here, the picture on the left is the one we redid with cushioning and the picture on the right is an original seat. For reference, we just wanted to show you what the cushion that we will be working on looked like before. So right now we are focusing on the cushion on the left, which is the bottom part of the seat. And this is what we're going to be fixing. As you can see, it does not hold its structure very well. And so please keep watching to see the steps of how we achieved our end result. All right, so the first step is to pick up your comfort seat. Here's a picture of the comfort seat that we actually got for free from someone here in town. What we ended up doing was we took off all of the upholstery and all of the horse hair that was already in here because we had some mocha upholstery that we were going to be using instead and we really only needed the frame to go ahead and finish off our project. All right, so now we've made it to Joanne's and we've got ourselves some fur wrap. And this is the seat and we have this very thin material that we're going to use to wrap around the seat later. The exact measurements of everything we bought I will go ahead and put in the description, but for those of you listening, I'll give you a quick summary of what we purchased from Joann's. We went ahead and got a yard of half inch high density foam, although we only ended up using about half a yard, and we got three fourths of a yard of burlap and the black thin material. And lastly, they also had some coconut husks, so we went ahead and grabbed some of that as well. So once we purchased everything, we went ahead and cleaned out all the old seats and got off the old cloth right here. He's just vacuuming up debris. So now we've got most of the material off of the seats and we have Sam over here painting the bottom because it was a bit rusty. And I'm going to work on this headrest, taking off the rest of the cloth. All right, so this is the original horse hair from the seat and here we have the springs. The plan is we bought some coconut husk from Joann's and we will be double folding it, only using the coconut husk on the middle section. For the sides, they're pretty stiff, so we're gonna go ahead and use some foam padding on the sides. This is a half inch thick. And to help with the springs over here, we're gonna wrap it in burlap. So now I've gone ahead and cut a piece to put in the center. Um, I just made sure to stay within these lines right here because the middle of the cushion is what was really gone. And now I'm gonna take some spray adhesive and I am going to spray it onto both of these sides and put it on. Once I finished with that, I went ahead and sprayed adhesive on both ends and as you can see, that coconut husk is going on top. So now what I've gone ahead and done is go ahead and make my cuts for my padding. Um, I just used this half inch foam and you, I just labeled it that way. I could tell when I go and spray adhesive, but now I will be spraying adhesive onto this and this. This is where we ended up putting the burlap. Um, we just went ahead and tucked it in into this and we used a little bit of adhesive, but we were running out. So yes, this is what it should look like on the bottom. All right, this is the finished product. I forgot to record us putting the burlap on the bottom of the seat and tucking it in. And then what we went ahead and did was we got this thin black fabric and just put it all around and we stapled it together and just reassembled the seat. It's a bit dirty, so we have some cleaning to do. But other than that, it feels great. As you can see from this picture, this picture is of, of a seat similar to the condition before we went ahead and did everything to it. It very, scrunches down quite a bit and now this is the new seat that we went ahead and did. And as you can see, there's not as much pushing down. It's not perfect, but it's definitely feels a lot better. So now we've gone ahead and fixed the issue of the horse hair falling all over the carpet. And my specific issue was the horse hair going through and poking me through the seat. Hopefully this video was informational. And if you have any questions, please comment them down below.